let's circle back to Fridays. Um, you guys remember the stepmom stole mom's thunder about giving the, the birds and bees talk Ooh. to her daughter? And we didn't know if it was calculated or not. Hey, Tara, good morning. Hey, good morning. So for those that didn't hear on Friday, um, kind of recap for us exactly what happened with the stepmom. Yeah, so um, my daughter, who's 11 years old, um, I recently discovered that she had had her first birds, the bird, sorry, bird show, birds <laughs> and the bees talk with her stepmom. Um, I found out about it after the fact and was just like taken aback. Um, as a mom, I wanted to be the one to tell her first, but you know, such is the situation. But I was stuck wondering if I have a right to be upset or if I should reach out to her because the situation is complicated. I don't really have a good relationship with the stepmom. Uh, she's a lot younger and she tries to be more of a friend to my daughter than, than anything else. So I just, I was worried that, you know, I'm going to be undermined and kind of sidelined in this situation. I think just fully so. Sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So how did you end up handling this situation this past weekend? So I ended up sending a text to my ex husband, um, to kind of let him know what was going on. And, you know, instead of com like coming in hot, angry. Yeah. So, um, so I actually want to read it to you guys, if that's okay. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm going to use fake names to keep us somewhat anonymous. Um, I'll use Kat as a stepmom and Olivia is my daughter. So I attempted to handle this situation on my own. I hope, hope I did you guys proud here. I know mean, um, we could have waited and you could have done a texting tutor with us, but I'm sure this was something that needed yeah, to get done. Like we, we really could have used the content, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so fine. I can, I can totally screenshot. And send it to you yeah. yeah, go for it. All right. So how did the text exchange go? Okay. So I sent to my ex, hey, I found out that Kat had talked to Olivia about sex. Do you know how that conversation came about? Him. No clue. Didn't even realize that conversation had taken place. Well, that's a red flag. I, mm. Right. So I said, yeah, Olivia said something that prodded me to ask where she had heard that from. And she said from Kat. When I pushed a little further, Olivia said Kat had given her the sex talk. He says, I'm sorry about that. Again, had no clue. I'll talk to Kat. So I said, thanks. I'm glad the two of them have open dialogue, but I prefer to have been the one to give her that talk. At minimum, I'd like to be made aware when those conversations do happen. He said, I get it. So it seems overall, like it was I productive. Thought, mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I thought we handled the situation well, and that was that. But then a cat texted me later that night, and y'all. Okay. Mm -mm. Oh, that y'all doesn't mean that's go. not there a good That's a loaded y'all. Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> Head tilt. I'm a, I'm a transplant in Atlanta, so like sometimes it, it comes out now. Um, <laughs> so, I, so Kat says, Olivia, trust me, and I'm not going to jeopardize that trust by telling you everything we talk about. Oh, boy. Yeah, she comes in frightened. frightened. Yep. <sighs> deep breath before responding. Me. I'm glad the two of you have established a trusting relationship. As her mom, I was looking forward to having that conversation with her. It's an important milestone conversation to have with your kid. The fact you had it and didn't even give me a heads up that it had happened felt very disrespectful. You can have a trusting relationship with Olivia and a respectful one with me. That's all I ask. Come on now. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thought, yeah, Look at you, Tara, finding your power. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. But then this little... Cat says, <laughs> "Oh no, this little oh, no. Cat. <laughs> <laughs> meow." He says, "You should be grateful she has someone like me in her life." Oh no! <gasps> See, oh, cat. Mm. Cat, mm -mm. Cat. so now it's a cat fight. It yeah, is. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Uh, it is. It is. Mm. No. Yeah. So I said, "I am grateful Olivia has you in her life." I'd also like to know I have you in my corner, as I can be grateful to have you in my life as well. And then she said. And this is why Olivia doesn't like to talk to you. You're guilt trip. Oh, nah, see? She's just being combative. A guilt trip? I'm like, okay, so I send back, that wasn't a guilt trip. And the fact you took it that way says more about you than it does me. Mm -hmm. From here on out, I think it's best I speak to Cal and only Cal when it pertains to Olivia. Yeah, 100%. You handled that so well. You really did, Tara. So well. A lot of patience. Um, you. Do you want to follow it up by confessing to us you went over to a house and deflated her tires or something? Because <laughs> this sounds really high road here, man. Maybe me, like, 
maybe 10 years ago would have. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing else you can really do here. I mean, this is such a common story where stepmom and mom, mm-hmm. there's egos involved here. Mm-hmm. She's clearly in the wrong and is just digging in. There is nothing you're going to be able to say to her to change her mind on this. The only thing you yeah. can do is go through your ex. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so that's what I did. I, I screenshot the text and I sent them to, I sent them to him and I'm just like, here, you can deal with her little sass now. Um, and I just, you know, it's hard. I wish co-parenting wasn't this hard. Yeah, it shouldn't have to be. Mm-mm. shouldn't have to. You did the right thing, though. You, you, handle, did, you really handled it beautifully, Tara. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you're on my side. <laughs> All right. Thanks for sharing with us. Appreciate you. Yes, thank you. Uh, have a good day. The Bird Show.